Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how you can integrate your Google Calendar with Outlook Calendar. Um, and not in the stereotypical way of um, pulling Google Calendar into Outlook, but the complete reverse of that. So this will be how you take your Outlook Calendar and publish that into your Google Calendar. If you find this a uh, video useful, then you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to the computer. Okay, so here we are just in the Google Calendar um, via Google Chrome, right? So I'm in Google Chrome and I've loaded up my Google Calendar here. And so you can see I've got a couple of calendars on the left-hand side here. Um, and what I'm going to do is pull in an additional calendar, which will be my Outlook calendar, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is actually head over to office.com and log in. Once we've logged into office.com, down the left-hand side here, this app bar, you'll find your Outlook calendar or Outlook um, application. If you don't see it there, then actually click on this option and it will expand everything. And you should be able to see it in this section just here. If however it's not there, then you can click on all apps and this will give you the full list of apps that you have access to. And you want to find your Google, um, so your Outlook calendar or Outlook app. Okay, just from there. You can also do it um, directly from calendar as well, if you would prefer. Um, but for this example, as most people are probably familiar with Outlook, I'm just going to use the Outlook app. Okay, so we'll give that a click and it will open up your Outlook calendar in a new window. Okay, so a new uh, tab just at the top here um, for my Outlook calendar. Okay, um, so with our Outlook calendar open, what we want to then do is head over on the far right hand side, we see a little gear icon. We'll give the gear a click uh, and then we'll see this is all the settings that we have access to here. Um, and as we scroll down at the very bottom, we'll see um, view all Outlook settings. We'll give that a click. Okay, and then this will load up uh, all of the settings for Outlook. And um, so you have general, a mail, calendar, and people, okay? Um, and we want the calendar, so make sure that we've selected the calendar setting. And then inside the subsection here, you have view, events, weather, uh, events from emails, shared calendar, customize actions, and accounts, okay? And um, what we want to do is actually open the shared calendar options. So we'll give that a click. And then over here, we'll finally see all of the shared calendar options that we have access to. So there's share a calendar or publish a calendar, okay? If you choose the share a calendar, that's um, basically going to share your calendar to another Outlook um, for another person within your organization, okay? So if there are, let's say, two people in an organization, this is the option that you'd use to share your Outlook calendar directly to that one person. Um, but it would only be within their Outlook, okay? So that's not what we want to do. Instead, we want to publish a calendar, okay? So we're gonna take this publish a calendar and we're gonna publish our Outlook into our Google Calendar, okay? So what we're gonna do is select calendar. Now, I only have the one calendar available, so I'm just gonna select calendar, but you may have more in that section there. Um, so do choose the calendar that you want to actually um, synchronize with Google. The next thing you want to do is select the permissions for the calendar, okay? So not shared um, or, you know, you've got these three main options. So the first thing that you want to do is, do you want them to see uh, the titles and locations? If not, then you're going to want to select I'm busy, okay? So it'll basically block out a time slot to say that you're busy and it won't give the um, the people who have access to the Google Calendar, the ability to see what you're doing within those time slots. If you select titles and locations, it's exactly as it says on the tin, um, they'll be able to see uh, the title that you've uh, given your appointment um, and the location in which the appointment is taking place, okay? But they won't see any more details. If, however, you want them to see all the details that you have um, loaded into an appointment, so you know, the title, the location, and potentially an agenda, then you would click on view all details, okay? So I'm gonna use the uh, view all details for this example here. And then once you've uh, selected the permission levels, you click on publish, okay? This is then gonna produce you two different um, 
URLs, okay? There's the HTML URL, and then there's something called an ICS URL, okay? And then you have two options here, one that resets the links and the other one unpublishes your Outlook calendar, okay? So the HTML option is not what we want, okay? Because that's basically just going to load it directly into a, a web page, and that's not what we're going to do, we want to do. We want to integrate uh, the calendar directly into the Google Calendar, okay? So we want the ICS option. And what you wanna do is just give that link a click and you'll be presented with this um, pop-up box where we had the option to copy the link or download it. We're going to click on copy link, okay? That will come up here or highlight it and then you just click copy. That's being copied to your clipboard and you can just close this option here and close your settings down, okay? And that will return you back to your Outlook calendar. Now, what we want to do is actually head over to the Google Calendar, so the tab that we open first, okay? And within the Google Calendar, on the left-hand side, you see other calendars and a little plus icon. What we're gonna do is click on the plus icon, and then you'll be presented with these options. So there's subscribe to a calendar, create a calendar, browse calendars of interest, um, from URL or import, okay? And what we want to do is actually uh, use the from URL option. So we're gonna give that a click. From here, we have the um, settings that are loaded up, right? And we have the add calendar section from URL. Um, and then we have this uh, location here. So this little gray box is where we're gonna paste in the copied URL, the ICS uh, URL that we copied from Outlook. What we're gonna do is right click here and hit paste or use the shortcut of control V um, and that will paste that in. The next uh, little tick box option we have here is whether or not we choose to make the calendar publicly accessible. Now, this would be something that you wouldn't necessarily want to do unless you're creating a public calendar. Um, so normally when you're, you're taking you like your personal Outlook calendar and pushing that out into your personal Google calendar, you're not gonna want to select that option. So I'm gonna leave it unchecked for this example, okay? Um, and if we wanted to actually create a public uh, calendar from Outlook, then in which case, sure, we would tick it, but we're not in this example. We're just going to leave that unchecked. And then we are going to basically click the add calendar button. So we're just gonna give that a click. It'll take a couple of seconds as it pulls in all of the information from our Google, uh, sorry, sorry, from our Outlook calendar into Google. When it's done, you'll have a little gray box that just appeared at the bottom there saying it's been added. And on the far left hand side here, you can see our Outlook calendar uh, has just appeared over here. Okay, so with that done, we can actually now go back on the settings up the top left hand side. Um, just that click. And now we can see that uh, on the left hand side, we can see the calendar, uh, my calendar, my Google calendar. And then under other, we have my Outlook calendar. And you can start to see that I have a couple of my appointments already appearing inside um, my Google calendar here. So if I scroll through, you can see I have these reoccurring live streams uh, every single day. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. It's as easy as that to go ahead and actually start integrating your Outlook calendar into Google. Uh, and it's incredibly useful if you're um, basically using um, multiple different devices and you prefer to use a Google calendar rather than an Outlook calendar. Um, but sometimes, you know, you might find yourself on uh, you know, a work PC, a desktop um, that uses Outlook and you just basically want to integrate it all together so you get true visibility. Um, so this is uh, how you'd go about taking that Outlook calendar and putting it into Google. Um, but also do check out the other video that I have on my channel where it shows you how to take your Google calendar and put in that in Outlook as well, because then you get that full synchronization between the two calendars. If you found this video useful, you know what to do and I will see you in the next video.